RNZ has learned that police conducted a trial of a controversial facial recognition technique earlier this year. American software firm Clearview AI is used uh, software is used by hundreds of police departments in the United States. It's effectively a search engine for faces, billing itself as a crime fighting tool to identify both criminals and victims. Mackenzie Smith has the story. Until this year, few had heard of Clearview AI. Then, on the 19th of January, an expose on the front page of the New York Times labelled the software as the most powerful form of facial recognition ever developed, declaring it could end privacy as we know it. Three days later, according to official emails released to RNZ, the New Zealand police started making inquiries into how it could use the software. The police say they trialled the artificial intelligence software earlier this year. But the privacy commissioner, John Edwards, says he should have been consulted before anything went ahead. It's a commercial model that has very little transparency over its uh, algorithms and, you know, you would not expect you know, a law enforcement agency to begin a process of evaluating a technology of this nature without involving the regulator who's responsible for this kind of thing. John Edwards says the police commissioner, Andrew Costa, has told him he was also unaware of the trial. I've been reassured by the police commissioner that it was a very limited trial and he's concerned also that it was able to happen without a, a sort of high level sign off and involvement of my office. They will be looking at uh, protocols, how they do evaluate new technologies and, and I, I welcome that. Clearview's technology has built a database of around 2.8 billion faces by lifting users' images from social media sites like Facebook. The practice violates most of these companies' terms of service. The software hasn't been independently tested. But in short, upload a photo of anyone and it can probably find out who they are. The company's founder, Juan Tontat, explained how it works to CNN. Quite simply, Clearview is basically a search engine for faces. So anyone in law enforcement can upload a face to the system and it finds any other publicly available material that matches that particular face. Official emails show police started a Clearview AI trial as early as February 19, and they told RNZ last week that the trial was ongoing. But after the Privacy Commissioner raised RNZ's questions with the police on Tuesday, they said the trial has in fact finished and its investigative value is limited. John Edwards says facial recognition technology is inevitable in New Zealand, but there are ways to reduce its risks. One of the problems with these kinds of models is that it's relatively easy for any individual to make an inquiry. You know, there's basically a commercial platform. What police need to do is just be very clear with officers uh, what the process for trialling and adopting new technology is and what the sign-off and evaluation process Police won't say what they used Clearview AI for or who had access to it, but Detective Superintendent Tom Fitzgerald provided a brief statement. His words have been voiced. This was a very limited trial to assess investigative value. The trial has now ceased and the value to investigations has been assessed as very limited. The technology at this stage will not be used by New Zealand police. In the US, Clearview AI says it's been used to solve everything from mailbox thefts to cases of child sexual abuse. In one email, a company employee told the New Zealand police its technology could assist their counter-terrorism operations. For Morning Report, Mackenzie Smith.